grew up in Six Nations, Ontario. You grew up playing for the Iroquois Nationals. The heritage itself is super in, ingrained in your blood. Who is somebody that was super impactful on your lacrosse career? Not maybe not just lacrosse career, but your career in general. Um, that kind of grew up in in those roots. You know, Delvi Paulus, uh, uh, Cody Jamison, and Craig Point. You know, uh, Delvi was kind of the first guy from Six Nations to um, go out and go on to community college, and then go on to play Division One. You know, and play MLL and NLL. So he he was a guy that I looked up to, and. Um, you know, I just kind of wanted to do what he did type thing. But, you know, Cody Cody and Craig, I, I kind of grew up with them a little bit. They're obviously older than I am, but they kind of did the same thing. But I, I, I was that in that age group where I was still old enough to be friends with them. So, um, you know, they kind of just helped me, um, gave me advice on, on school and life and, and in lacrosse too. So I think those three guys and my dad obviously had a, major impact on on my career. I love that. And we bring up Cody and he's obviously somebody that I idolize and I also play with him, which I'm fortunate enough to, because he teaches me not just mm -hmm. the game of lacrosse, but kind of the roots and the background behind it, because I grew up in a very different situation than yourself and Cody. So he's kind of a lot of my outlook and my outreach to figure out what the background is behind lacrosse's native game. I think, uh, I think another influential person here, you know, Gaylord Paulus, um, you can look him up. He, the arena here is named after him in Six Nations. And I guess this guy was just like unbelievable. You know, obviously, like I said, I didn't get to see him play, but my dad and, and all my uncles have, have seen him play. And, you know, I, I hear nothing but great things about him. And, um, you know, that's one of those things where you wish you could go back and, and turn back time a little bit and see how unbelievable somebody is with a wooden stick because that's all they use then. I think somebody that has a name, uh, an arena named after them in Six Nations kind of speaks for itself, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 he's a beast.